This is follow-up video number two in reference to Regina Carter sharing a video on her Instagram about women and women uh, being independent. And I fully support her and totally agree with her because of many different things. But here's a couple vantage points. With all the women inequality and the different things that women have come through, I support her. And women shouldn't have to depend on a man or anyone else because they've been given gifts and talents. And so with those gifts and talents, they can provide provision for themselves and walk in their divine feminine energy and provide for themselves if need be. And so I want to give a diagram. I'm going to use the front cover of the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I break it down to the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. So the left side of the equation contains the E at the top for employee and the S at the bottom for self-employed. And then on the right side of the equation, B for business owner, and then at the bottom, I for investor. Now, the numbers that I'm going to use is a big number, but don't worry about the number. Follow the principle. And so the number I'm using is 3 billion people working throughout the world between the four quadrants. So here is how this would break down. The left side of the equation would break down to 2 billion, 940 million people. And the right side of the equation would break down uh, to 60 million people. Now, what's the relevance in this in relating to um, Regine Carter? It's just showing that you got to be able to stand on your own, too, and provide for yourself. So although there's 2,940,000,000 people on the left side of the equation, they would only control 2% of the wealth. What do you mean by that? In terms of paper money, paper checks, coins, debit and credit cards, and blockchain, they would represent only 2%. <clears throat> Whereas the right side of the equation... Um, the 60 million people would control 98% of wealth procurement in terms of dollar bills, paper checks, coins, debit, credit card, and blockchain. What's the relevance and significance of this? We're talking about independence, right? So if you break it down, the right side of the equation would be dominating. Even though it's 60 million people, they will be worth far, far more than the 2,940,000,000 people. 